So I don't know how many of y'all have ever had an MRI scan, but I just had an MRI scan this morning, and I want to talk about it briefly, about my experience. I had an MRI once a long time ago, and all I remember was that it was a tube, and you, they slide you in there. You hear some noises, like ding, 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 bong, 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 whatever, and they scan you, and then you come back out. Now, when I was young, I was not claustrophobic at all. As a matter of fact, I used to climb in caves and and get in tight spots and whatever, and no big deal. But now that I'm older, for some reason, I have become somewhat claustrophobic. Um, so when I found out I was going to need an MRI on my back for my sciatica, for my crushed vertebrae, I said, do you have any MRIs that aren't so enclosed, you know? Do you? And they were like, oh, yeah, we have, a, it's a, called an open MRI. I said, cool. Sign me up for that. So I go down there this morning, and they take me into the back room, and I see the machine, and I'm like, that's open? And by open, they mean instead of it being completely uh, encircled, there's a few little strips on the bottom that are kind of open. I'm like, you got to be kidding me. But I'm like, all right, I'm grown. I'm tough, right? I can handle this. I'll just close my eyes and, and be cool, right? So she gets me up there and she says, here, you're going to need earplugs because this thing's kind of loud. So I put the earplugs in. And they slide me in there, and as I'm going in, the the damn top of this thing is like four inches from my face. I mean, all the way down. And I feel myself starting to tense up. And then I hear her say, eh, it's going to take about 30 minutes. I'm like, 30 minutes in this damn coffin. So I'm like telling myself, calm down, Jonathan, breathe. Close your eyes, go to your happy place, think of something else, right? So the first thing I think of is my freaking ABCs. So I'm closing my eyes and I'm visualizing the alphabet. A, B, C. I go through the alphabet like 20 or 30 times. And whenever I would stop, I would start to like think about being in this damn machine, and I would—I could feel myself starting to, uh, 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 so I would think of something else. I was thinking about um, outer space. I was thinking about math. Started thinking about the football season. Anything to keep my mind off that. And I gotta tell you, you know, it, the the noise stopped, and I thought we were done. And the lady goes, "All right, we're halfway there." I'm like, "Holy shit!" So anyways, get through with the thing. I couldn't get out of that thing fast enough, man. I pull out the earplugs, blah, get the hell out. But I got to say, laying flat on my back and not being able to move, because that's another thing. They don't want you to move for 30 minutes. Like the last 10 minutes or so, my back started stinging like a bitch. The, the nerves down my legs started hurting, because with the sciatica, for me anyways, if I'm in one place too long, it really starts to hurt. So when I got out, I was like limping back to my vehicle, man. And uh, I'm just glad that I did it. I, it was it was terrible. I mean, like even in elevators, I get a little, Ugh. like I said, I don't know what changed. Uh, I used to not sweat stuff like that at all, but. Now that I'm older and I've been through more crap in my life and I guess I'm somewhat damaged and I just, I'm ugh, just freaking out. So yeah, anyways, I'm glad that's done. And uh, if you have any MRI stories or claustrophobic stories, please share them with me. All right. Have a great day. What do you think?